Welcome to Walk Fun. Today, we are going to talk about how you can keep yourself safe when you are walking, running, playing, or rolling near cars and traffic. After watching this video and learning about safety, you will be able to call yourself a pedestrian safety superstar. Let's get started. First, let's review three words that are important to know. Pedestrian, vehicle, and traffic. When your teacher explained these to you, you learned that you are a pedestrian. You also learned that vehicles include bikes, cars, motorcycles, buses, and more. Vehicles with motors can move very fast. Traffic can be on a street, in a parking lot, near a driveway, and even in an alley. As a pedestrian, it's very important that you pay close attention to traffic so you can stay safe. How? It's easy. Just follow these five steps for crossing the street safely. The five steps are, first, cross at a crosswalk. Second, stop at the edge. Third, look left, right, and left again. Fourth, cross with older company. And fifth, move in a straight line. Let's learn more about each step together. The first step for crossing the street safely is to cross at a crosswalk. To find a crosswalk, look for the paint on the road or a crosswalk road sign. Most crosswalks are at a corner where two streets come together. This is called an intersection. If you can't find a crosswalk, try to find a corner. Crosswalks and corners are the safest place to cross since drivers expect people to be crossing there. The second step to crossing the street safely is to stop at the edge. What's an edge? An edge is often the curb where the street begins, but edges can be tricky. Edges can also be anywhere a vehicle can cross your path. For example, if you are moving along on a sidewalk and you come to a driveway or alley, there will be an edge where the sidewalk ends and the alley or driveway begins. It is important to stop at these edges too so that you can watch for traffic before you continue moving. Edges can also be hidden. Sometimes there can be piles of snow or garbage cans that hide an edge. These can make it harder to find the edge and for vehicle drivers to see you. Be careful to find a safe place to be where you can look for anything in your way and find the edge to stay safe. The third step to crossing the street safely is to look left, right, and left again. Turn your head to the left so that your chin is all the way over your shoulder. Now do the same thing on the right, and then left again so that you can see the traffic coming towards you from both directions. Remember to also use your ears to listen for traffic that you may not be able to see. If it is all clear and no vehicles are coming towards you, it's safe to cross. The fourth step to crossing the street safely is to cross with older company. Until you are told it is safe to cross by yourself, always try to cross with an older adult, older friend, or sibling. Why? Well, older people have more practice crossing streets, so it's good to learn from them. They are also usually taller than you are, so it is easier for drivers to see them. Ready for the fifth step? When you are ready to cross, move in a straight line. Continue to pay attention to the traffic around you. It's a time to focus on keeping yourself safe. And that's it. Let's review the five steps one more time. First, cross at a crosswalk. Second, stop at the edge. Third, look left, right, and left again. Fourth, cross with older company. Fifth, move in a straight line. Now you are ready to keep yourself safe when crossing the street. And if you still have any questions, you can ask your teacher. You and your friends are pedestrian safety superstars. Congratulations! And enjoy your safe adventures.